I've made a few videos on future coming electric cars, which will have solar in the roof. So not flat solar panels, but actual solar film, flexible solar film covering their roof and even the entire car. I think it's a great idea. I mean, realistically, a lot of people don't drive all that far. So it's theoretically possible that with a car covered in flexible, thin solar panels, you could get all the energy you need to do all the driving you need. As of yet though, there are no major car brands manufacturing EVs, mainstream EVs, with this as an option. So a Tesla owner has saw it, it's, you know, they've gone, I'm not gonna wait. I don't wanna wait for this, I'm gonna do it myself. Here is the result. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. A Tesla owner has built his own solar roof for a Tesla Model Y, which looks absolutely ridiculous, but it's a great, it's a fantastic idea. The reason I say this, it's a kind of thing in my opinion where you're not gonna drive around like this all the time. It doesn't make sense, right? But it does make sense if you had some kind of easily deployable roof rack and you could stack the panels in your boot and simply put them on the roof when you are say camping, went camping for a week, right? Or maybe you go on a holiday for a week or two and your cars are sitting out in the sun. What about if your cars are sitting out in the car park all day doing nothing? I don't think this guy is gonna be driving around with these panels on his roof, but he could be. If he is, I don't know how it would feel to drive with all these panels on the roof. It could feel a bit sketchy, a bit dangerous. If you had a strong wind come along, could pick your car up and even flip it. I mean, you've probably seen some of the crazy scenarios where drivers in races, race drivers have, with big wings on their cars have had their cars simply flip up in the air. Uh, for example, in the recent Gran Turismo movie, when the driver in that car, his car just flipped up in the air, he didn't do anything, he was just driving, and it flew up in the air, it happened to Mark Webber as well. I could see that happening if this guy was going too fast on a windy day. What are your thoughts? A Tesla Model Y owner has decided to build his own solar roof that adds over 20 miles of range to his vehicle per day. I, mean, I guess in theory he could use the solar panels as well for things like camping. Now there are some automakers that offer this kind of thing as an option in China. You can get solar panels to cover your roof and it does make a lot of sense on a trucks. truck. Truck companies now are starting to deploy these kinds of projects because obviously the roof of a truck bed, so obviously the area on a truck bed or the area on top of the truck canopy is completely flat. It'd be perfect for solar panels. Cars, yeah, maybe not so much. Pickup trucks could work. Interestingly, in 2017, Elon Musk encouraged Tesla's engineers to look into integrating solar cells on the Model 3, but they concluded it didn't make sense at the time. But since 2017, the energy density of solar panels has drastically improved and the cost has declined by more than 50%. Maybe it's time to revisit the idea, especially considering now we have new solar panels which are flexible. Uh, they almost, almost resemble the ability of clothing and able, in this, they almost resemble the ability of clothing and their ability to curve. Anyway, Solar cell efficiency has also improved, and Tesla has developed its own expertise in embedding solar cells through development of solar tiles. Now, I think something we're all forgetting is Tesla initially had planned on having a solar roof for the Cybertruck. They said the bed would be covered in solar panels as an option. And this would be in, and they said that this feature would actually add 15 miles of range per day. A lot of people only drive about 15 miles per day. So this would be great. Unfortunately, the Cybertruck doesn't have this as an option yet. A few years later though, Tesla filed for a patent that showed the solar cells will be embedded inside their retractable tonneau cover. So the retractable bed, that would be covered in solar. Now, obviously this guy wasn't willing to wait for a Cybertruck with that option. Maybe he doesn't even want a pickup truck. So he's deployed these solar panels. The owner is called Usomid3 on Reddit and he built an actual roof rack that fits on his Tesla Model Y and it can deploy nine 175 watt panels that he uses to charge the vehicle. He said this, 
For the past two years, I've been working on a 2000 watt to 4000 watt solar system for my Model Y. Today, I can charge anywhere in the world. Now, apparently he used 3D parts and telescoping carbon fiber tube um, in order to decrease the weight and obviously deploy the panels. I suspect when the car's not being driven. He says it can add around 20 miles of range, which is 32 kilometers per day. Interestingly, if you want to check out this, this car, you can actually go to his website. I'll put a link to his website. He's got a website there that shows the entire project, why he did it. And I think actually it's kind of a great idea. The other thing worth considering is it does keep his car nice and cool. So it's like a big sunshade. I imagine that all the cars around him um, would be much, much hotter when the people get to go and get jump inside their car. And the other thing that's worth considering is if he's keeping his car cooler, the battery pack is also cooler. So that may also help with his battery efficiency. Now, interestingly, the weight is remarkably low. The solar panels only weigh 75 kilos. Of course, aerodynamic performance would be an issue if you're driving with the panels on the roof all the time. I'm not sure if he does or not. Maybe he does. I mean, hey, to be fair, a lot of people do drive around with massive roof racks with things on their roofs all day. So wouldn't be that different. I personally believe, and I mentioned this many times on the channel, that at some point in the future, within the next five to 10 years, almost all cars will have the option or will be covered by paint, which is basically solar. Now there's already technology that exists, and I've reported on this on a, on a couple of occasions on the channel, which enables thin solar PV to cover a car, and it's now actually durable. So you can cover it almost like paint. The other thing is a lot of this film is actually transparent. So you can't even see it. You wouldn't be able to tell if your car was covered in solar panels. Now I know that this isn't available right now in terms of com a mass commercialized product, but I do believe it's coming when it does. If you can get an additional say 20 or 30 miles of range per day for free, it could mean the majority of people worldwide will be driving around at zero cost. That's quite an exciting future. It's something that really makes me think, you know what? The world is in fact going to get better. It is getting better. And it most certainly will. For our children, I think it will. Thank you for watching.